Hello and welcome to another F-22 Total Air War Let's Play video and this is the next mission on the Eritrea tour called Tower 3 and this one is an airfield strike mission and we've got to destroy three hangars and one control tower and we've got to take off on the border and fly to waypoint 4 and that's where the enemy airfield is if we have a look at the reconnaissance flight we can see the three hangars I've marked that in the three large circles and the control tower is just dead center on this crosshair so let's go 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 we start on the runway this time and we've only got one wingman with us so let's go full power and let's take off and we're airborne press G to get our undercarriage up and we're gonna flick on the autopilot oh that was close <laughs> and head over to the first waypoint we're going to go into a strike loose formation that's where we fly one in front of each other so if we bomb the area we can do so one at a time we've got four laser guided bombs two mavericks and two medium range missiles And off we go, it's 6 o'clock in the early evening and there's not a long way to go so if we are damaged we can limp back home quite easily and we've got code to waypoint 2 which is 50 miles away there's no other enemy air contacts in the area there is a flight of F-15s just ahead of us, just going between waypoint 2 and waypoint 3. There's an enemy airfield just over here. And it looks pretty quiet here. There's an enemy plane, I think that's an SU-27, just outside its hangar. So we might head into trouble on the way back. If we jump into the smart view we can see some Eurofighters, they're friendly ones taking off just after us. There's two of them and they're going to be performing a combat air patrol. And they're just waiting for permission to take off and off they go. We don't have a lot of air-to-air -air missiles, so let's hope they follow us and provide us cover. Now I'm going to target the F-15s ahead of us and just have a look at them. They'll be the first wave of attack on this airfield and they're already starting their run. see the airfield just in the distance there and this one's dropped its bombs there's four bombs on the way and I believe they are laser guided as well and we just follow this bomb and it's going straight to the runway And one of the hangars has been taken out. And something else has been taken out just there. And now we're coming up to the airfield as well now. I'm going to go to the laser designator. And just target the control tower first and I believe it's just been damaged by the first wave of attack but we still need to take it out or we will fail our objectives I found that the hard way previously right targeted it and we're ready to shoot we've got to go to MCON 3 
otherwise we won't drop so bombs away we'll just follow this bomb and there's a lock somebody's locked onto us I think it's an anti-aircraft gun all the sounds have been taken out I think so we've got free run to take these buildings out and that's one down oh, oh yeah. now we're gonna have to make several passes because we've got to take out three hangars so if we go back into the laser designator and that's on the third multifunction display screen which is three on the numeric keyboard just want to swing around Um, we need to be level before we can drop a bomb. We've got one hangar targeted and bombs away. Now we're really high up. We're about at an altitude of about 20,000 feet. If we are not careful and we go below 8,000 then we'll be shot up by the anti-aircraft guns. And you can see the fire there just behind this bomb shooting straight up at us but it's pretty futile because they can't get to us let's follow this bomb and make sure it hits this hangar there's some airplanes still at this airfield and they're on the runway actually there's four of them they're about to take off so I don't think we've got time to do another run we're gonna to have to take out these planes and our wingman just told us there's some MiG-29s just in the air. I'm going to swing about and tell my wingman to engage to get them while they're slow and low. There they are. Now they're an older plane but they're still pretty dangerous. And he's got a missile away. I'm just going to tell these planes to get anything that's missed. And one's been hit. Another one's been hit. And there's a missile that's going to bank away and launch flares. Alright, now it's my turn. We've got a lock with our infrared missile. The missile away. And boom! We've got it! Whew. There's another plane in the air. We're gonna get a lock. And missile away. Off it goes. And I think we've got it, yes! That's nice work, they're all down. Just gonna check the tactical display, make sure everybody's either damaged or taken out. And that was a close call. If we hadn't had spotted them taken off from the runway, we could be taken by surprise. Right. It's time to bank around and finish off the airfield strike. I'm going to reset the lantern. I know this airfield's just dead ahead now, so she needs to go down. And target this airfield hangar. And we'll do that with the lantern track. Now there's several locks on us, but I don't think they're SAMs. They're just anti-aircraft guns and the HUD display doesn't differentiate. So until we see the missile launch, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna carry on. And bombs away again. This is our third bomb. I'm just going to fly level and straight until this bomb hits. 
if we make any evasive maneuvers or sharp turns the laser may move and the bomb will not hit the target so it's very important to fly level and straight and make small adjustments like I'm doing now just to make sure the crosshairs are over the target and boom that's another hanger gone I need to make one more pass now I'm going to zoom out and move the crosshairs over to this large hanger and that's the final hanger I'm going to bank around and wait for the shoot shoot message shoot, shoot. once we've leveled out as well okay just gonna make sure that shoot shoot message comes up again and I can't hear anything which is a bit disconcerting I'm just gonna see where that airfield is just, just there now we can't afford to miss because this is our last bomb so there's no room for error we might have to make another pass you can see once we put our afterburners on you can see those radar envelopes of the enemy anti-aircraft guns widen and I've let my altitude drop a little bit so I'm just going to gain some altitude as we're a little bit close for comfort you can see the anti-aircraft fire there I'm going to extend a little bit and get back up to 20,000 feet and just do a loop round. And now we've got the shoot shoot message, so that's excellent. I'm not sure why it didn't do the shoot shoot message before. I'm going to level out and just wait. And it's still not coming up. So I don't know if there's a bug in the system or whatever. Perhaps we're just too close over it. And see if the shoot shoot message just comes up again. Perhaps something's been damaged and I don't know about it. Right, I'm going to extend again and speed up time just to fly away from the airfield and approach once more Warning. Sam, shoot, shoot. and this is why I always prefer the unguided bombs over the uh, laser guided bombs but you can't select your ordnance in this mission or any of these single missions unfortunately we've got the shoot message now see that on the screen and bombs away and off it goes and it's slightly off target so I'm going to press down the down arrow key button and just press F8 to track this bomb oh, oh yeah. and that's the final target destroyed now we need to get out of here as fast as we can we've loitered too long here I'm going to zoom out and just check the tactical display and flick on the autopilot to go on to the waypoint 6 and there's nothing in the air so that's good and we're just banking around slowly I think we can turn the laser designator off now and on to waypoint 6 which is 25 miles away and that will be our turning waypoint back home and you can see the anti-aircraft guns are still active I wonder if we can look at one There it is. And a 
There's another one over here. It's firing its gun. We're well out of its range. So it's just a shot across the bowels, I suppose. Oh, if we check here, something's just taken off without us knowing about it. I'm going to go into MCOM Manual 1 just to give it the least possible chance that it can pick us up on its radar and just see what it is. Autopilot engaged. And there's four fighters, four Mirages, and they're loaded out with air to ground bombs. Now I think we can take these out. They won't be very manoeuvrable. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage. Uh, he's launched the missile already. I'm going to bank round and try and tail these planes. Uh, we can go into MCOM manual 3 so we can launch radar guided missiles if we need to. And there's our wingman there. And missile away. And it's missed. I'm going to target the next plane. And it's flown past us. Which is a bit frustrating. There's another plane over here. They seem to be really surprised that we're here. And missile away. I think this is missed as well. We're a bit too close to use those missiles, to be honest. But we've exhausted all our short-range infrared missiles, so I'm going to have to take them out of guns. And we're in a turning circle here. And guns, 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 we've got it! And it won't take a lot of hits to go down these planes. And this one's smoking, brilliant. And off it goes into the ground. Boom. That's five. Five planes for us. Now I'm going to turn around and get this plane which is closer. And tell my wingman to engage as well. He's just ahead of me. Just check the loadout of this plane. It's still got four air-to-ground bombs there. I think I would have dumped them by now if I was him. There's our wingman. Just tailing this plane. He's managed to outmaneuver it. I'm going to turn around. He's been hit. He's got some hits on this plane. That's fantastic. And I think this one's done for. Yes, it's definitely done for. This one's going into the ground with a trail of smoke behind it. And there's two more Mirages just over here. And I'm going to tell my wing to engage. I'm going to bank around. And they've got a lock on us. I don't know if they've got any air to air missiles though, I don't think they have. Now we're head on, I'm going to get my guns onto it. Our wingman's got one. And this plane's going down, you can see it waggling about and it's exploded. Now to switch to the final plane. And he's got some hits already, whoa! bit close for comfort there. <laughs> we nearly had a head-on collision there. I'm going to bank around, loop over, and my wingman's already on the tail of this plane and he's got it with guns. 
Fantastic. This one's going down. Spiraling out of control. the ground okay this is uh, good work we managed to avert an air attack oh we've got two SU-27 bogeys and they've taken off from the same airfield I think we can take them out though before they get get some altitude and speed. So it's time to disengage the autopilot. I thought we were going to fly home safely. I'm just going to go in the smart view and see what else is around. And there's some more SU-27s waiting to take off there. There's some transport planes. And uh, this is the SU-27 that's just taken off. Now, I don't feel we would have a good chance against these without missiles, but as they're low and slow, I think we've got a fighting chance. So let's turn around, and we're going to tell my wingman to engage in a second. We're in the wrong MCON setting, we need to go to MCON 2 at least. Now, as my wingman's much better than me with the gun, I'm going to let him go first, and I'm going to go behind and cover him. And now I'm going to bank around. And they're already launching missiles at my wingman. I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> There's a missile on us as well. We're going to bank away and launch flares. Broken the lock, luckily. Now we're going to be in gun range soon. I'm going to bank over there. Two on two, this is. And we don't have any missiles. Right, so we've got a missile lock on us. Going to bank away and launch flares. got a fighting chance to get to break off any missile locks because their planes are not at high altitude or firing fast and I don't know if we could have ran away anyway Warning. Radar lock. Warning. Right, there's another missile on us, I'm going to have to bank away and launch flares There's one plane over here. I'm going to target this plane and take it out. He's in gun range now. Guns, guns, guns. And we've got some hits. We've got plenty of cannon f ammunition, so I'm going to use it liberally. As fast as playing, I'll use my afterburners. And we've got another hit. Jump to the target view, you can see my cannon fire. I have to act quickly because the other wingman will be onto us. There's a missile on us, I might have to break the attack. No, luckily, I've launched flares and we've got this one. Whoa, debris. Oh, we've got some damage. That's the problem when you're chasing a plane and you're hitting him with cannons. Right, it's time to take out this other plane. And my wingman's on it, I hope. And turn to engage it. And there's another enemy plane. There's, there's another one in our radar display there. 
I'll check our damage report. Nothing yet, that's good news. Right, my wingman's just behind this plane that's tailing me, so if I extend, I might be able to get it in the tail. So I'm just going to fly straight and fast. I'm going to gain some altitude as well, but not a lot, otherwise we'll lose too much speed. And we might as well just head home in this direction anyway. I'll tell my wingman to engage again. Though we're in the wrong MCON setting. I'll see if we can uh, say to ask for help. But it's unavailable. I'll tell my wingman to engage. This plane that's directly behind us, and I think he's gaining on us, so he's definitely gaining on us by at least a hundred knots. So we're gonna have to bank around and use our guns. I'm not too confident as we've got some damage already, so any more hits and we could be in big trouble. Now we're in a turning circle. I'm gonna do a low yo yo and cut the corner. And you can see that plane stuck in that circle. So now we've cut the corner and now we are on the tail of this SU-27. There's a missile on us, we're going to launch flares. We've broken the lock luckily. And this plane is much faster than us now, now we've done a low yo-yo. The only problem is that we, we bleed off a lot of speed when we do a tight turn like that. Although he's coming into range now and it's guns, guns, guns. And another missile's on us. It's very important to have your finger over the flare release button at all times and get ready to launch. Our wingman's firing as well. We're triangulating this target. And he's got it. Fantastic. I'm going to switch to the next plane and tell my wingman to engage. He's already on my tail, so I'm going to do a low yo yo and cut the corner. And our wingman's already on it already. Like a pack of dogs, we are on these planes. We jump to the SU-27. Alright, the other plane's been destroyed. Just need to take this guy out. He's been hit. Oh, that was close. Touch and go there. And this plane is exploding as it's going down into the ground. And there it goes. Boom. It's 11 planes for our wingman, that's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna look out and see what else is around. There's some enemy fighters over here. But they're already being gauged, and I think they're a bit too far away for us to help out. And we've got nothing left, to be honest. I'm going to check our damage report. We've got about half fuel tank, and our wingman's just worse off with less fuel than us. We're going to flick on the autopilot and head home. And we haven't got too far to go. We've got about 100 miles to go. And there doesn't seem to be too much trouble within our immediate area. If we fly between these hills and mountains, we can remain undetected. Right, we have come back home now. I'm going to ask permission to land. We're going to slow ourselves down with the speed brake. And I can just hear an explosion there. 
and that's not too good I can see smoke coming out and I think I have brakes broken so that is the damage from before when we flew into that debris so there's, <laughs> there's still some more drama yes yeah, so I've checked the uh, damage report and our air brake is damaged and this isn't good news because our undercarriage might be damaged as well as our wheel brakes and steering so a number of things can go wrong we might even have hydraulic failure at worst case scenario well I'm going to put my undercarriage down as well that will help us slow us down and that luckily has come out so trying to lose speed is going to be our main problem I'm going to jettison our air to ground stores just in case there's any problems when we hit the ground now I'm going to have to weave to lose speed I want to aim to land at about 140 to 150 knots and we're a bit fast okay luckily this runway is nice and long and we've touched down we've got no air brake and we've got no wheel brake Let's hope we stop in time. We've got no parachute either. I'm going to turn my engines off. And we're coming up to a rolling stop. Just at the end of this runway. Whew. Fantastic. Our mission goals have been completed. That's excellent. And we've just come to a stop right at the end. Incredible. We'll open up the canopy. And that's it. There's our wingman just flying above us. I'm sure he'll land in a minute. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.